I'm Thomas Sterling. I'm uh, the Arnold and Edwards Professor of Computer Science. I also hold an adjunct faculty position at the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. I'm also uh, the CSRI Fellow at uh, Sandia National Lab and a distinguished visiting scientist at Oak Ridge National Lab. And finally, I'm a visiting associate at uh, the California Institute of Technology Center for Advanced Computing Research. Historically, over the course of six decades and more, uh, computer systems and science has gone through several phase changes, several paradigm shifts in response to underlying enabling technologies that allow uh, the design of new classes of architectures to exploit those technologies and new programming models to take advantage of those architectures. Uh, we, the community in high performance computing and in computing in general, are going through another one of those phase shifts. In order to do so, we need a new model of computation that allows us to adapt effectively to the new technologies, to drive the form and structure of the new architectures, and uh, to support the development of new programming models that will make uh, those uh, systems work uh, more effectively. For example, we are challenged today in ways never before with the amount of parallelism or concurrency that we need to uh, exploit. It's quite possible that by the end of the next decade, we will have systems that have to operate performing a billion different actions at any one moment simultaneously. Uh, at the same time, we are challenged with the amount of power consumption we have. Uh, today, the predictions are the very most optimistic models suggest we will have to spend over 100 megawatts on power at the high-end computers. Today, our, fa our most powerful machines most power consumption machines are on the order of 10 megawatts. If we were to expand uh, today's machines up to the scale that we expect by the end of the next decade, it would be over a billion watts. So power is a serious issue. And, and finally, the reliability of such systems with so many components, where today we expect them to run for many days without error. Uh, in fact, the mean time between failure could be a few minutes or even a few seconds. All of these requirements and others uh, need a new form, a new strategy, a new paradigm of execution. Parallax is such a strategy that's been uh, proposed and developed and, and implemented experimentally here at LSU in order to attempt to satisfy those new conditions. It's a very exciting project, um, admittedly very risky, but we're hoping that the parallax model of computation, when effectively applied to future systems and help helping to drive their architectures and their programming models, will be one of the enabling factors that permit exascale computing by the end of the decade. The National Science Foundation is supporting five institutions to work together collaboratively in a two-year program to explore at a level of depth that is unprecedented the approaches that may be taken to develop systems capable of exascale, that means exaflops uh, computing. The institutions, uh, including Louisiana State University, involve the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, the University of Southern California, the University of Texas uh, at Austin, um, the uh, University of Notre Dame, and uh, the University um, of Delaware. Uh, together, uh, we're exploring a, a number of different approaches, avenues, uh, to take a design point to a level where we can quantify the relative uh, value and uh, challenges, bottlenecks, that we may encounter. Uh, while there have been a number of studies uh, by DARPA and by the Department of Energy uh, to look at the possibilities and the needs for exascale computing, no single design has been taken to the level of depth and detail that we're going to examine uh, uh, through this, through this uh, exascale point design. LSU is uh, the lead institution in this, uh, all, although all, all institutions are equal partners. Uh, LSU is focusing on the model of computation, uh, one of the architectures that will be incorporated for one of the kinds of cores, uh, the runtime system software, uh, and some of the operating system work. We're also fortunate to have uh, partnering at no additional cost to the NSF, 
uh, the Sandia National Laboratory, which will also help us uh, with the designs of uh, networked uh, uh, topology and technology, uh, both uh, optical and, and wired, and uh, also allow us to understand better the physical uh, packaging and cooling requirements for such a system. So Sandia is also contributing as a full partner. The Center of Computation Technology is divided intellectually and for management purposes into a number of different focus areas. Focus areas in key computational areas and focus areas in uh, the development of systems, uh, software and hardware. The most recent focus area to be added to uh, CCT is the System Science and Engineering focus area that I have the honor to uh, lead. Uh, that focus area is exploring uh, all aspects of hardware and software technology that contribute to the realization and use of systems that fit within a room. Uh, if uh, the uh, software such as grid computing and other techniques expand beyond the room, well, we don't do that, but we worry about uh, hardware technology, hardware architecture, both at the core and the systems level, including networks and secondary storage. We worry about operating systems. We worry about runtime systems and programming models and tools that uh, we can use for, for um, uh, measuring and using those systems. And so the system science and engineering focus area uh, emphasizes, elevates certain areas of research that are ongoing, uh, is attracting new faculty and uh, researchers to uh, CCT uh, to strengthen this very important uh, area. And uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to have an opportunity to play an important role in this. The Beowulf Boot Camp is uh, an important initiative that allows uh, Louisiana State University to reach out to the high schools in, in Baton Rouge and in Louisiana in order to build bridges that make it uh, possible for high school students to have an opportunity to better understand what it means to come to a university and to pursue uh, an advanced technology career. Uh, the Beowulf Boot Camp is a one-week school in which we expose the students to computing and high-speed computing, applications for computing, hardware and software. By the time they're finished, they've actually written, even if they've never done so before, they've written computer programs that run on small versions of a supercomputer. But more importantly, the students have really learned about themselves, about their potential, about their opportunities. Uh, we have greatly reduced barriers to their future. Uh, many of the students had never been on a university campus, and now they had. A number, most students had never talked to a university professor that was some other creature from another planet. Now they have talked, exchanged ideas with a professor. That's no longer scary to them. They've been exposed to ideas and listened to a number of different people, including other students who have involved themselves and so they can identify with those students and they can think about them themselves in the same place. So our goal is in order to help with recruitment and retention of students, but also to inspire those students to stay in high school, to do better in high school, to understand the impact and implications of what they're learning in high school and possibly aspire to advanced, advanced uh, career goals uh, uh, to go to college and beyond. This is a tremendously important investment, a, a gift of LSU and CCT to the Louisiana community. And it represents a new role that faculty at the university level must play with K through 12 in order to help the transition of America's youth in moving through college and beyond. It's a different world today and everyone has a responsibility to make that possible.